one second. There you go. Um, what I want to say. So, I remember the moments where I realized in, in the deepness of my soul, I realized that we made a mistake with that tenant. And, you know, even though, even though we are covered, even though we are insured, even though, you know, we're going to be good, it's just not a good feeling to be deceived, right? And I couldn't help but to feel, I couldn't help but to feel uh, upset. Um, very upset. And um, throughout this process, throughout this eviction process, what I really want to share to supplement to what I talked about the other day on part one is the importance of having your emotions in check, the importance of meditating, and the importance of refraining from reacting when you are in a when you are in an emotional state. Um, so of course, we are going through legal with this tenant, and everything we say, whether in writing, in person, over the phone. Uh, it brings it to another level. So it's important that, it's definitely important that you try not to be reactionary. And that's very hard. And I remember looking back on the fact that I wanted, I wanted to call her. I wanted to curse her out. I wanted to be like, who the fuck do you think you is? You know, I, I wanted to yell out because she was talking about how like, this is my house, this is my house. Well, she's not even paying rent. And I'm sitting there like, bitch, this is not your fucking house, you know? And and I, I had to put everything in me to just breathe and control. And it was it was subconsciously very consuming. And it's it's because it's because I'm naturally I'm naturally hot. I'm naturally uh, hot tempered. Uh and I, na I naturally have a very short fuse. Um, I, I have good self-control, but uh, af after a certain threshold, I have a very short temper and it was very difficult to relive these moments when I was telling this story because I can feel the emotion coming back up and it was, it, it became very difficult to tell the story. Um, <sighs> This is not a pointless video, right? So, of course, I'm making this video to kind of reflect a little bit on what was said earlier and hopefully to, to show you some nuggets of wisdom. Um, I may be 36 years old, but I've lived and I'm still fucking smart. And you can learn a lot as I can learn a lot from you. So let me know in the comments below, you know, what are some of your, what are some of the tools you use besides meditation, but some of the tools you use to keep your emotions in check so you can think clearly, especially when it comes to business and when it comes to money, right? Um, to think rationally and not make a brusque or brisk decision. Um, but, um, but for sure, the, 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 it was, for sure, it was, um, if it wasn't for the fact that I had my family members around me and I had this, uh, there was this feeling of like, okay, I'm not alone. It, w it definitely would have been harder. You know, it's almost like, because, because you know what, the feeling, the feeling was similar to as if, some stranger walks into your home, breaks your TV, chokes your dog, smacks you in the face, right? And then there's nothing you can do about it. Like that's that's how it felt, you know? And it was, it was very reassuring to know that, okay, I'm going through this moment. I'm not alone. I have my family members with me and we are holding hands and we are supporting one another, at least on a spiritual level. I didn't feel alone and it helped. 
I mean, I was definitely stressed because I, I have a short temper, but it helped a lot. And so, um, and so what helped me through was just the thought, the thought of not being alone. And it helped me keep my, my cool and allow me to think rationally and clearly. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, see you on the next post.